Right, so now I've introduced you to the figure environment. Let's talk about including the actual graphic inside that figure in a good scientific engineering way. So right, let's have a look at my screen. The best graphics, um, arguably, are drawn with a package called PGF plots. So in LaTeX, um, you can see, well, you can see the source of this open domain project here. In LaTeX, uh, you implement it by putting in the preamble, use package PGF plots, and then PGF plot set compat equals new, newest. It's a little recipe. And that empowers you to uh, code into LaTeX, relatively simple code. Depends, um, some beautiful graphs, which will be typeset according to the fonts and size, sizes, and all the page size of the document class that you are using. Right, so um, if you use a bigger font, the font of the graphic will increase correspondingly immediately without you doing anything. So it really is the most flexible way to proceed. Now, it's PGF plots is a huge package and with lots and lots of facilities. And so you can spend a lot of time procrastinating on work that you should be doing, just learning about PGF plots. Um, I wrote an introduction and this is it. So I thought we'd have a look at it so that you can see some of the things that PGF plots does. So here is one example and just look at it and say, wow, that is really clean and a beautiful graphic. Uh, nice choice of colors, symbols, legends, um, beautiful grids. How do you do such a thing? Okay, so here are the basic instructions. Right, you need the packages and the compat, as I've said, in the preamble. If you want to draw a simple curve, this is the formula here. Right, you, need, you need a double environment. You need a, to invoke the ticks picture environment. And then within that, you invoke an axis environment. Right, and the axis environment is the what draws the plots. And within the axis environment, you give a command to draw the plot. So for each curve that you're going to draw, it's something like backslash add plot plus, and then some formula or data. Um, then there'll be various action axis options, right? You may want uh, a log plot, a semi-log plot, or to choose different scalings, um, you want to specify labels, all of that sort of stuff goes into there. You've got multiple curves, just a matter of having more add plot pluses. So on the next page. Uh, separated by an optional add legend entry to specify what the legend of each curve is. So the simplest sort of uh, function plots you can do uh, is to just give a formula within braces. Yeah. Some function of x written in a computer ease sort of way. Uh, there is one caveat. Uh, I don't know why the designers chose this, but for trigonometric functions, they assumed your arguments were degrees. So for most mathematical purposes, and a lot of science and engineering, when the argument of trig functions is in radians, you need to convert radians to degrees and then use the PGF trig functions. That's what the deg is doing in there. You can have a parametric plot. Um, you plot data 
by in place of the formula, by in place of that, you say coordinates and point list, give a list of points where what's in that list of points is just data like that. And we'll just draw lines or symbols there. Oh yeah, here's an example. Legend, you can add legends. You can add annotations. And so for example, the picture I showed at the start of the screen, that one, the three curves and the legend is drawn by this. And this is something which once you get used to it is you can code. Okay, so the outermost text picture environment, then an axis environment which goes from there to there. The axis options say the axis labels are X and Y. The axis lines are in the middle. Um, we make 41 point samples just because the default was a bit thin. We draw a grid, we make the plotted lines thick, we specify the domain is minus four to four. For, and we put the legend at the outer, outside the graph at the northeast because the default is inside the graph at the northeast. Uh, then for two of the plots, there are no marks. So we have an optional argument to add plot plus saying don't draw the marks for this, don't draw the marks for that. First one's called F, second one's called G. The last curve, let's use marks and uh, we'll specify what it is. And then draw this function, which happens to be the composition of F composed with G. Okay, that's the sort of thing that you do. Um, and there's more information here about options, which I'm not to go, to go through. If you're interested, have a look. Uh, chunk of chunk of chunks. Some options you can set globally in the PGF plot set in the preamble. Okay. Um, and there's a bit more there. Now, PGF plots is com computationally intensive, uh, essentially because it's only interpretive, I believe. So one way to make running, anyway, which slows down running LaTeX, one way to make LaTeX run faster is to tell it when it draws the plot um, to save a copy online in your disk space, and then next time when you run LaTeX, it will use that file from the disk rather than drawing it again. Um, so there's a little recipe here to tell you what to do in order to do that. Okay, let's have a look at some further examples. Uh, this is another one with two curves. And you can see it's quite similar to what I've described. Log log plot is obtained by having begin log log axis rather than begin axis. And yeah, this one is with data points. Uh, and there's also some beautiful 3D graphics. So this one is a simple example. So begin text picture, end text picture. Then there's begin axis, end axis. Uh, put a title. And then just as for a simple 2D graph, you can get, if you know the formula, you can just give the formula. So here it's add plot three, or 3D plot. Uh, make it a surface, do the domain from zero to 360 degrees, degrees, uh, 40 samples in each direction and plot sine x times sine y. Um, okay, so they're the best graphs. You can see a host more examples incidentally here at this website, which I've got 
there. And yeah, there's some examples which I can show more down here. Um, um, in the right here are links to classes of examples. Over on the left are some examples that you can see. And in order to draw these graphs, you can look at the tech they used. This is not as useful as it might seem because the tech they use is often very complicated. And you may say, oh, how on earth do I, you know, how on earth do I modify that for my purposes? I mean, for teaching, it's usually best to have an example pared down to the minimum practical. And most of these are not, but they're good fun to look at anyway. Okay, let's put that one away. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Now, so you can code it by hand. You can, depending on the computer package you use, you can often get the computer package to code the PGF uh, com commands that you need direct in LaTeX. So for example, in MATLAB and Octave, there is a publicly free downloadable function called MATLAB to TIX. Okay. And the procedure is you draw your graphic in MATLAB or Octave, and then you say MATLAB to TIX and tell it where to store the information. And what that function does is to look at that graphical object and reproduce it with, or generate the LaTeX code for PGF plots to reproduce that graph uh, in essence. It's not a precise reproduction, it's doing what the, it's doing a redrawing of the graph. So I recommend you call it like this. The basic information that's needed, well it's preferable to start with a clean figure, the basic information for MATLAB to text is just to tell it a file name about where to put stuff. Um, however, MATLAB to TIX has the disadvantage that it, is, it often codes more stuff into the PGF plots command than you want, and you often want to add stuff. So I do recommend that you consider um, some extra commands to the MATLAB to text function, such as this. Um, and in particular, I mean, these are optional. The others I do recommend. These I recommend as an optional feature for you uh, to use. Yeah. However, be aware that there is a bug in that lab to text currently. So it's to do with legends. If legends mysteriously appear on a plot that didn't have legends, then you need to do this. Okay, so that's the best graphs. Um, um, so do it if you really want the best, but if you don't want to be in, involved, if you just say, look, I've got MATLAB Octave, it's gonna draw a graph. I just want that included. We'll talk about that next. <laughs>